Well, just hours ago, the final study into who should run Charlotte Douglas Airport was released. Eyewitness News anchor Erica Bryant spent all night reading through that report, and she found for the first time it details how a change in command could help you. In 65 pages, this final report lays out why an airport authority rather than the city should oversee Charlotte Douglas. We went through the document page by page tonight, and for the first time, we're reading how handing over control of the airport could benefit all of us. First, it says an airport authority could increase the number of passengers and add more nonstop flights to more destinations, giving travelers more choices and saving them time. It's very frustrating, especially going to Boston, you have to fly into Newark. Um, and then, then on into Logan. Um, so it'd be great to have you know more nonstop to Logan. We also read how that increased traffic could benefit our whole community, creating more opportunities for area businesses, boosting the airport's economic impact on our area, already estimated at 12.5 billion. People that will be coming in here, like especially from the smaller cities around around Charlotte, taking direct flights. So you know they'll be coming into Charlotte, maybe having to stay overnight, which would you know help with the hotels. The report also says airport workers stand to gain with more competitive compensation. I don't trust you. Although the process to get here has been political with heated meetings and accusations of deception, the study found switching to an authority would take the politics out of the airport. Now the study recommends that the city of Charlotte have a big say in who sits on that new airport authority board. We reached out to state lawmakers considering the bill to take control of the airport and they told us they're looking at this study and it could take weeks before they vote. Natalie.